everybody. Today, let's talk about the Vicon Edge 10 controller that's out there. Um, so what the Edge 10 controller is, is basically it's a mini Jace with a little bit of I.O. on it, right? Okay. So the I.O. is kind of limited, right? We got five inputs, two analog outputs, and three digital outputs, okay? Um, so, so you can do all rooftop with it or whatever if you just have one building with a small rooftop on it and you don't want to put a jace and a controller out there this is your your guy right but anything bigger you can actually put two ior 34s on this right in lieu of the backnet so you it has rs485 port on here so you can use that rs485 for your uh ior 34s uh, but whenever you do that you're going to lose your your bagnet uh, portion of this uh, now the bagnet can only host uh four controllers so you could either have this and four controllers or you can have this and two ior 34s up to two ior 34s or four ior 16s okay so I have one of these uh, running in my lab here. I'm going to team viewer in. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here is the one we got running in the lab. Um, this shows you that it is an Edge 10 controller right here, QNX Edge 10. And everything else looks just like a Jace, right? Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Um, between this and a Jace, if just looking at it, here is the Fat Neck Network, and I do have one VAV down for some reason, but that's okay. Let's discover it and see what's going on with it. I'm not there at the office, so could be a million reasons why it's down. To be honest with you. Uh, well, see if he's there. Go there and there and just match it. And there we go. We should be good. Well, we've been playing around with it. Uh, downloading, playing CCT, so I'm sure instance number or something. That's what it was, was the instance number. So, now we're good. Uh, it can host uh, PX graphics just like a Jace, so on we have some very simple graphics laid out here uh vav fan cool unit uh don't have any graphics on this blemo this is a blemo backnet sensor right that we're bringing in temperature humidity uh and it's calculating dew point for us everything really nice sensor i did a video on the sensor it was a um, a demo model uh, these sensors are out now you can go and reference that that video that I did on it really nice sensor um, back net and now technically on these back net sensors you don't have to waste a device right you can actually peer-to-peer -peer that guy straight to your controller and not have it on your counted as one of your devices on the trunk I don't know if you'll know that or not so it's it's up to y'all uh, but we got a home page um this is actually my wife's classroom she drew this up and i kind of added in little features what i could here got a little johnson stat in there showing the actual temperature and the set point set point's kind of hard to see but everything does work we can override the set point And the fans, these are just all on one fan command, so we can turn that off. And it will turn off all the fans here, see, the animation. And then we can go back and auto with that. There we go. So, so really good controller. Um, it's programmed with I, IRM modules. Uh, so if we want to do any kind of programming with the actual device itself we would do that in IRM 
but overall for the price this is a, a very heavy hefty duty controller uh they're very hard to get um here lately but we actually have some in stock now so they're coming back uh great for larger air handlers or even smaller jobs that only have like i said a rooftop on it and the customer still wants graphics and everything that you get with a jace slap one of these guys on if you need some more io throw in ir34 and everything works um it's uh got this a system in it which is extremely fast startup when you lose power on this guy and start it back up it's doing the logic in seconds after uh power failure after you after you start the power back on it uh, faster than any other controller out there. Uh, now you won't be able to log into it and see it, but you could have relays set up and some logic, and it'll be firing those relays all while the the station's starting up and everything else. So extremely cool controller to work with.